Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. SBI CBO 2020 exam is going to be held on 28th of this month. On 28th of this month, right? So, uh, yeah, 28th of November. Uh, it's going to be held on 28th of November. So today we are launching the test series for the exam. If you have already taken the crash course, the SBI CBO crash course, uh, this test series is part of the crash course. You don't need to buy it separately. So we are providing five full length mock tests, 15 sectional tests. Uh, proper explanation is there. Uh, it is made with the you know in compliance with the exam pattern all the questions are latest questions are provided discussion forums are there and you can ask your questions from me right so systematically designed and we are covering the 100% entire syllabus obviously so uh, in the course uh, we are covering the entire syllabus with the help of video classes notes self-paced courses there right you can watch the videos any point uh, at any point of time a uh, systematic study plan I have already pro provided in my video like four days back. So study material is provided. Doubt clearing sessions are there. We got 500 final selections uh, in various exam in 2019-20 and we provide the courses for specialist officer exams. Link to this course and the test series is available in the description. So uh, you need to submit your uh, choices of test centers. I hope you have already done that. So online exam is going to be held on 28th of November right the exam pattern there is general economy banking awareness KYC AML uh, preventive vigilance legal issues right data analysis reasoning computer aptitude English language and then descriptive paper right so uh, see 200 marks are there uh, each question uh, carries like two marks right so sectional timing is there and then uh, so uh, for the descriptive paper, letter writing and essay writing is there. 250 words of essay you need to write and 30 minutes are allotted for the essay writing. So total 2 hours and 30 minutes are allotted uh, for, for that uh, online exam. So one fourth of negative marking is there. For general economy, the most important part here is the RBI circular is the most important part. Student, RBI circular is the most, most important part, I would say. Okay uh the banking awareness digest is also important right uh the monthly gk digest i recommend you to go through the monthly gk digest if you have time if you're already doing it that's great economic reforms in uh sebi uh there are hardly like uh, six pages of content for sebi circulars go through that latest government schemes we have prepared proper list so gk list are there so go through those gk list it's important sarfasi act is very important uh, in the next, uh, I guess, Sarfasi Act is important for the exam. Please go through it. And then uh, Negotiable Instruments Act is important. Banking Regulation Act, Indian Contract Act. Basics of Companies Act, I would say, is important. You don't need to go in-depth about it. Partnership Act. Basics, uh, see, most important acts are Sarfasi, Banking Regulation. These are important. But, uh, and Ombudsman, it's a scheme. Very, you know, it's not that difficult. It can be covered within five, six pages. Rest of these acts are like, uh, I would say, uh, you know, you don't need to go in depth, right? Current affairs, PIB summaries, financial awareness. Financial awareness is a really deep topic. So you need to do a uh, basal norm. I'll, I mean, it covers a lot of things. Basal norms, right? And then uh, the guidelines for HFCs, RBI guidelines for HFCs, for urban cooperative banks, right? For payment gateways, for corporate... Uh, for uh, commercial banks, all that is covered. Priority sector lending is an important topic. PSL, very important topic for the exam. A lot of other topics, right? Digital lending platforms is very important nowadays. Uh, I have already mentioned that, right? So all these are really, really important topics. They are part of financial awareness, right? Financial awareness doesn't just mean uh, like banking awareness, right? Whatever is happening in banking industry, it's, it's already there in Banking Awareness Digest. But financial awareness is actually more than that. Derivatives uh, is an important topic. So yeah, that's what we are covering in the general economy, banking awareness, preventive vigilance, legal issues and KYC, CML. Financial awareness is a proper section. It's a really lengthy section uh, where we just brought financial awareness. It's a lengthy section, right? All those basal norms, HFC, UCB, PSL norms, Kisan credit card, government schemes, uh, the latest products. All that is covered under financial awareness. Even derivatives are covered under the financial awareness. Derivatives are also covered under the financial awareness. So all these uh, topics are covered under financial awareness. RBI circular is itself a lengthy, you know, 
uh, topic. So last six months of RBI circulars, you need to cover that, right? Data analysis and data interpretation directly. Uh, there will be like uh, you know, uh, all the sets would be directly from data interpretation. Uh, there will be bar charts. There will be pie charts. Two diagram questions would be there. The normal data interpretation and data sufficiency would be there in this section. In the reasoning and the computer aptitude, uh, normal inequalities, coding, decoding, scilog, ranking, ordering, blood relation, direction sense test, input, output, sitting arrangement, puzzles, analogy, and uh, critical reasoning, right? In the computer awareness, the basics would be there. History of computers, introduction to computers, basics of hardware, software, input, output devices, right? Number system, operating system, right? So uh, the network topologies, networking is important, database basics is important. So basic computer awareness, it is not a professional knowledge kind of a thing, basics only. In the English language, the same para uh, the para jumbles, reading comprehensions, vocabulary would be there in the uh, reading comprehensions, error spotting, separate questions would be there from error spotting, sentence improvement, close test, and rearrangement of sentences. That would be, uh, it, it would be there in that English language, right? So for the descriptive paper, it is already mentioned essay writing and letter writing. In the course, in the crash course, uh, proper you know samples are available for essay writing and the letter writing. And we have also prepared the video classes for essay writing, how to write an essay, how to write a letter. So it's already there in your course. You can join the SBI CBO 2020 crash course. If you are not aware about uh, how to do, you know, if you are not aware about the pattern, if you, if you don't know how to do, how to attempt your exam, we can actually help you with the crash course and if you are already aware about the exam pattern you exactly know what would be asked in the exam you just want to take a test series that's also available on bankexamstudy.com so complete coverage there list of students who crashed recently ibps so marketing rrb scale to bank of uh, maharashtra bank of baroda vijaya bank all these students they recently took our courses and they cracked their respective exams and now it's your turn right so uh bumper vacancies are there it's actually difficult to crack sbi po as compared to sbi cbu it's actually easier the eligibility criteria was so different so yeah it's actually uh, i would say easier to crack sbi cbu than sbi po so i can assure you if you are giving your 100 percent if you're giving 10 days even then it's possible if you're not getting good marks in the clerk or po right if you are getting like uh, 60 or 55, 60, even then you are not able to crack the PU level exams. This is your thing. You just need to crack. Uh, you just need to read certain topics like RBI circulars or financial awareness. Some of the acts you are done. And you, then you need to, you know, descriptive paper is there in all the major exams. So these are the different things that you need to do to crack this exam. And we can actually help you with that. Uh, yeah. Because see, uh, 60 marks are allotted to the general economy banking awareness. So that's what you need to do. That's what you need to focus on. These marks are assured. We exactly know what is going to be asked from RBI circulars, uh, from, you know, SEBI circulars, from financial awareness. We exactly know questions are going to be asked from there, right? So very easy. This financial awareness, if you crack the section, you can crack the whole exam, right? So yes, that's what we have to offer, right? The test series and the crash course links are available in the description. If there is any doubt, ask your doubts uh, on my WhatsApp number. You can ask your doubts 90672-0100. That is my WhatsApp number. Ask your doubts there and I'm going to answer your doubts. So thank you and have a very nice day. Bye-bye.